more on that. Chris. Yeah, Greg, we're here in Somerville County where they would take any break they can from the conditions. The sun slowly starting to peek its head out. We have not seen a whole lot of action this morning at this roadblock, aside from a few trucks coming and going, probably some replacement crews. But this morning, certainly a nervous one for those people who evacuated yesterday and wonder if they'll have anything to return home to, a home at all, because this fire is the biggest in the state of Texas right now. It nearly tripled in size from Monday night into Tuesday morning. The most recent estimations are 6,000 acres burned with 10% containment and 12 buildings total destroyed. We know that at least four of those are homes. The largest wildfire in the state, as I mentioned, and it really is forcing these resources to be spread out. Yesterday, there were planes overhead dropping the fire retardant on the fire. The shelter was set up in nearby Glen Rose for people who were evacuated. Even some livestock in the area evacuated out as the people here try to preserve and save as much as they can. Texas Forest Service, when we were talking to them yesterday out at that fire near Possum Kingdom, they did say the more of these fires that kick up across the state, the more resources they have to strategically spread out. So certainly any kind of break today we can get from more fires starting would be more than welcome. And yes, rain, a site that they have been waiting to see for a long time now. Mark and Kara. Okay, thank you for that, Chris. And